on my third account. I don't normally do manual runs anymore, but for this one I'm going to. Uh, just for the video, and just because I, I haven't done a one key yet on uh, this account, and I want to go ahead and try it. Let's see if I can do this. I'm going to do a manual run here. Now, the way this is going to work is I probably do not want to put any debuffs quite yet, just because this head is going to cleanse. I don't have Provoke, I don't have Cursed on, so, you know, it's going to be a little bit of an issue, but we'll, we'll see. Okay, so we're just going to start off by using our A1s for the most part. No real sense in uh, doing too much. This head is going to steal things. If I try to buff up, we're going to eat Taurus first, so I have to plan accordingly for that. I want to make sure that I put down the decrease defense first before I start doing things. So some of you guys might be wondering, oh, Burrito, why is it that you're not putting Provoke gear? Why are you not putting Cursed gear? I need to farm for gear. That's that's just the honest truth. I don't have the gear for it quite yet. And then I will remind you guys that this is my third account. On my first two accounts, I'm doing everything just fine. No ifs, ands, or buts if I'm going to one key anything. But this third one... Just, it is what it is. Someone was saying to just speed it up, put some like light music in the background, and you know, just do my Hydra runs. That way I don't have to make any cuts and it's a little bit, I guess, of a better viewing experience. I'm not sure if, uh, if anybody else would agree with that, but like, you know, let me know. So we're gonna place the heal, increase, uh, well, the strengthen, I mean. And while this guy has his buffs up, block buffs up, I'm gonna start hitting him. Try to uh, mark that. Oh, I should have waited until we got this on, actually. Now we've got decreased defense and the weaken. There we go. Boom, hit him. Yeah, strengthen is awesome. I think strengthen is, like, severely underrated. I don't think enough people talk about how great it is. It's just a flat out damage mitigation. And we'll hit you. Because, like, increased defense is cool and all, but it doesn't give you the flat, just straight up 25% uh, strength in, what do you call it, damage mitigation. It gives you an increase to your defense based on what defense you have. If you have a low defense, well, the increase to defense isn't going to be that huge, but if you have a, a higher one, of course, you're going to get a lot more. But Strengthen doesn't care about any of that. just does what it does. And I like that. Okay, so I probably shouldn't have used the counterattack on him because now he has an opportunity to steal that and spread it, and we definitely don't want that happening. Maybe I can get the block buffs up on him in time. So the top chest for Nightmare is going to be 36.6, so that is what we're going to be aiming for. Decrease defense is no longer there. Soul Reap popped up. Let's go ahead and see if we can take care of him. Yeah, so he's done. Gonna make sure we don't speed up here. I like to focus on the headless head as much as possible, or the decapitated heads as much as possible whenever I can. If I could get this shield broken, that would be a really good idea, although I don't know if I can... Uh-oh. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Yeah. So he's going to... I mean, his health was already kind of all the way up, so it's totally fine, I guess. Just wanted to get that stun off. So here, let's see if we can get the... All right, so we got the buff removal. We got the block buffs up as well. Looking good. Just put some damage on this head. Yeah, so whenever the head... The, the heads are decapitated. That's when I really like to um, focus on them because they receive 200% more damage. So I'm pretty sure that I'm, I'm able to get a one key here. I just haven't done it. I think the closest I've gotten on full auto, where like I just set it and then walk away and then come back to it, was like 32. 32 mil, but you know, the goal is always full auto. We'll see what we uh, come up with. Let's Let's give it a nice... Nice hard chug here, 357 per hit. That's very nice. We like that. We like seeing that. Boom. God hand, dropping it. All the way down. 
She's gonna cleanse. I don't know why I think this is a she. It always feels like a she to me. Okay, so we're a third of the way there. Basically. Just gotta... Okay, now that's an issue. But... We're gonna focus on this head now. I'm pretty sure we're gonna be okay. He still has five turns before he's eaten. Don't want to do that quite yet. So let's just hit him with the A1s. A1 there. A1. Try to get him out. Not necessarily trying to hit for max damage right now. Because they're gonna, what do you call it? Cleanse. So let me boost turn meter here. Don't want to use that until we get the block buffs up. He's back as well. That's not a good idea to uh, to mess with him. So we're just going to A1 until it's appropriate. So he cleansed. So now we can start putting down these. Ideally, in this situation, we're going to keep the fear head at the lowest HP because the head of cleansing is going to place this life barrier on this head. And whenever you have somebody to take care of the fear head, somebody like Inquisitor Shamael, you want to make sure that he has or he's going to take it he's gonna take the um the life barrier you want him to stay of uh to stay alive to be honest now we can put up the counter attack don't necessarily need to but i do and this probably wasn't the best move to hit i should have hit uh, him instead i don't want to hit him i want to make sure that this head stays alive doesn't change out to somebody else we don't want that happening. And I should have placed that a lot sooner. Can we get that out of here? No, the resist is too good. So we're going to move over to... Whoops. Move over to this head, probably. There you go. Yeah, trading would ruin the game. Imagine if we could trade legendaries in the game. The game's over. Like, there would be... That would destroy Raid Shadow Legends. Absolutely would. My only complaint about Inquisitor is that his am uh, sorry, animations. His animations are really slow. I think they did already buff him, but or not buff him, but like they made him faster already, but it's still really slow. I wish they would speed it up. He needs more accuracy too. Definitely getting hex on this would probably make it so that I don't have to worry about manualing a run. I think putting a hex, a curse set on Lydia would um, would easily make this a, a simple one key. Don't think I'd be doing much. I don't know how much damage I'd be doing. I don't think it's going to be a lot, but still. Make, make the time easier. Oof. That's not good. Can we take away this? Nope. Just hit you until then. Okay, let's get the block buffs up. It is negative affinity, so that's not good for us. And we gotta get rid of that heal reduction as well. Oh, I mean, it's gone, but still. It's not a good thing if he dies too early. I mean, he's pretty tanky, so I think we're okay. Uh, let's hit you. I'll try to get rid of you before you can do a heal. If it's even possible. Maybe I can go fast enough to make it happen. Let's speed up here. Remove that. There you go. And there's not enough. There's not enough buff yet. Buffs yet for me to want to do that move. So we're gonna just a one. Probably. Oh wait, maybe. Hold on. Let's see. Can we do it? I think we can. One, two, three. There you go. All right. Now we can start aiming down on this head. Put down the decreased defense and the weaken. Got some buffs up too. Decreased defense, weaken. Try to get the block buffs on him as well. Four times up. Let's hit this. Boom, 770 over there. Almost to 20. Why is Harima good? I don't understand. I mean, if you just take a look at her kit, super tanky, hits really hard. <clears throat> and the demon spawn passive, Tick tickle is right. 
He says that's it, like it's not a big deal. So it looks like we're not able to get the block but Can we get it? I know it's negative affinity. Oh, hey, crazier things have happened. We got the block buffs up. Let's clean this up. Man, check it out. Two turns, perfect. Try to stay alive here. You stole it, that's fine. Come on. Ah, oh, damn. That's the hard thing about not having a curse set on. You, you, you can never really target this guy. Come on. Get him out of there. I need the god hand. Oh boy. Now he's got the reflect damage up. Alright, so we got that removed. That's pretty cool. Get the block buffs up. Remove those buffs as well. Clear this out. Boom. Nope, not enough. There were not enough buffs up. Come on. I need a, I need I need some luck here. Trying to hit the A1. Damn, come on. Oh, nice. Got lucky there with the brimstone. Otherwise, that would have ended up pretty bad. In a bad way. Okay, so we're doing some damage there. That's the cool thing I like about Taurus. He, like, is able to just keep counterattacking, and it's such a huge counterattack. Like, his A2 just hits really hard. 600k, just like that. And we're gonna hit you. Place the block buffs on you. Get this on. Alright, so we're at 23. We need like 13 million left. 30k. Don't think I'll be able to get the block or the decreased damage. Or sorry, the um, decreased defense and weaken up in time to save my moves. So taking every little piece of damage that I can take. This head's pretty annoying. And we're going to hit you. One, two, three. Hitting for about 30k on average each. Let's go ahead and do this. Cleanse this. Put this on. And we're going to hit the A2 on this head. Remove these. Put the block buffs on. Perfect. We do want to see that. We do want to see this head because Inquisitor is here to take care of it, and that's what we're here for. That's good. And now we can get the block buffs on him just as well so that we don't have to worry about his reflect damage. Smack this one around. No holding back. Okay. I'm confident. We need 10 million more. 10 mil, and then we got the one key. What do you guys think about the new Hydra rewards for pretty much everybody? The progressive chess rewards. Good, bad, does it address the question? Does it address the question that most people already had? The main issue that drove this change? Because people were complaining that only the top three were able to get chests. But if you went up against a clan that was a bunch of whales or had these cheese comps that it wasn't fair well polarium has responded and here's the response but it's the response that we want that you guys want what do you think okay let's go ahead and boost turn meter and yeah let's just hit this let's go let's take that not the best situation to do it just because yeah, okay, I see. I should not have done that. I should have waited. Well, can I get lucky? Hmm, okay. Get some heals in. I don't know if we're going to be able to take this guy out. This head is dangerous. Being un unable to target it is, is crazy. Ah, damn. Try to get lucky. Oh, 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 maybe, maybe, maybe. Oof. Maybe. There you go. Hold on, it might happen. Oh. 
Maybe? We're at um, 30.2. We just need six more. After we get to 36.6, if we get that far, we'll see how much longer we can go for. Let's see. Gunner 1983. It sounds like a Marine if I ever saw one. Okay, so now that we, you know, we got him out, so let's let's go focus on this head over here now. Get the strengthen up. Oh wait, I probably shouldn't have done that counterattack move. Yep, my mistake. Screw it, it's all good. Boost turn meter. Let's do that. Got brimstone on, that's pretty cool. 31.7. Tried to get that counterattack off of him, but no. Nah. All right, let's hit this. 32. Can we, how, how far can we get with this one? 33. 33.3, okay. Nothing to worry about, nothing to worry about. Okay, we were able to hit you with the block buffs. Nope, couldn't get it. Boom. I think we got it. I'm confident. Us females? Females? Or we female females? We only need one million more. One mil more. Get that out of there. I wonder if this guy's American. Dad was Scandinavian Austrian. A lot of Americans I've met never really like to say that they're American. They like to say some other stuff like, oh, I'm Irish and German. Or like they talk about their antecedents. And I always think that's interesting. I mean, I obviously don't know the guy. I'm not trying to like talk shit about him or anything, but I'm just, it was a thought that passed in my head. Most Americans I've met. We did it guys, we did the one key. And I'm, I'm happy with that. Let's see how much further we can get. How much further along we can get. We got the block buffs up, so in case this guy decides to try to place those poison clouds up, I think we'll be straight for a minute. So, Sham is about to get eaten. I think it's a good idea to start trying to take this head down. Let's focus on putting him under block buffs, so... Don't have to worry about him. Nice, we got Brimstone on. Can we get rid of this, this head before it's time time up? Because once this head, sorry, once Inquisitor Shamael gets eaten, no one's gonna be here to take care of the fear heads. We need to get him out of the way. Because if this guy decides to, to eat, eat him and I can't target him in time, then we're kind of just SOL. defense and weaken up or keep it on okay so he decided to take a bite get him out get him out get him out boom 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 there you go Boom! Ah, not enough, not enough. Get the block buffs on. Well, that wasn't the best. Surprisingly going a lot further than I had initially expected. I initially thought that I was gonna struggle, that I was going to struggle to even get the one key, but I'm surprised to see that we're going a little bit further than that. I wonder where this is going to end up. Where do you think it's going to end up? Oh, nice. A2 off of Taurus, 1.1 million. And he's not even built in the best, best way yet. Love to see that kind of damage. Just like 60k on his A1. On the decapitated head.
That's pretty cool. Whenever somebody tries to place uh, poisons or I think just any debuff that Marishka puts the block damage buff. Oh, did you know the Lady Irith is getting a buff? She actually kind of looks cool now. She does a, a heal, and if it doesn't fully heal somebody, puts, puts a block damage buff on them. That's one of the things I saw she does. And then she does a, I think, a cooldown skill on top of that now, which I, I think is pretty awesome. Like, I have her on my main, and I'm thinking about building her now. So we're about, we're approaching 50k. Yeah, those counterattacks are, are doing nicely. Five fourteen. Damn, I should have actually saved it because he's about to get eaten, and I want to make sure I can take him out. But I think the poison head is going to be the one to eat him, so I think we're okay. I almost missed and didn't click on him. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to him in time. Oh, if we can get the block buffs up. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Block buffs are up, except for on this one. This head needs to get it. Nice. Let's get rid of this head. Once we get rid of this head, the poison cloud falls off. Sixty? We get sixty K? Or sorry, sixty yeah, no sixty K. Or sixty mil? What am I saying? I can count. I think we might get the sixty mil. On Nightmare, it's pretty good. For reference, the longest time I was struggling to even do um thirty six point six. Like I was settling for like thirty thirty eight mil runs or like forty mil runs. Granted now I can do two hundred plus and you know even further than that if I manual but um, it's still pretty good I'm, I'm just saying it's got to be the Taurus Mariska combo but there's some people out there with insane damage that they can put out on nightmare it's crazy freaking um there's people out there who's doing billions in nightmare and I'm, I'm not talking about clan clash points I'm talking about like actual damage billions it's crazy bro insane oh, I should have put the reflect dam or I should have put the, the block buffs up before he got the re reflect damage in oh well come on oof trying to just completely knock him out get him out of here so we can heal we'll be fine there we go that's one one out of there Start focusing on this head. So we got 61 mil. Like, how far is this going to let me take it? All right. I don't know what you guys are talking about. But that's inappropriate. So I'm going to leave that chat for a bit. So this head's going to receive the heal or the life barrier. That's good. Okay, so now it looks like we're we're starting to dive into the heads beginning to um, eat the champions a lot faster. The beginning of the end might start with him if he's able to pop if he, if he's able to swallow. So, hopefully he doesn't know how to swallow or can't swallow yet. 
But he's really tanky, so... Dozed off there for a minute, like I literally fell asleep. I don't know if we're going to be able to get him out of there. One, two, three. I need to be like super lucky for this to be working out for us. Uh-oh. Maybe? 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 That's it. All right, we're going to go on auto and leave it at that. We were not able to get Taurus out in time, which sucks, but, you know, it is what it is. I'd still say that I'm pretty happy with um, how, I've, how I've done so far. Uh, like I said, I just I didn't expect that I would do this much, but that's cool. 85 mil on a nightmare run. Granted, the champs are there. I mean... Let's be real, like Taurus Marishka, you know? And, um, you know, the gear is pretty good, too. We have Uko. The improvements have to be, you know, make everybody faster. Regear a little bit of, um... Uh, sorry, regear a few of the champions here. Put Provoke and a Cursed set on Lydia and Uko, respectively. I think Inquisitor does better in a... I know Ares puts his in, I think, Merc gear? Merciless gear, and he does extremely well. And someone recommended Reflex gear. I thought that was pretty good, too. And it worked out pretty well for me. It actually changed how much damage I do on my Nightmare run on my main account. And then Nut could also have better stats and put him in savage gear that's what i would work on next but i mean let's see what the final result is here we're at 85 mil you know can we can we get to 900 or sorry not oh my god imagine 900 can we get to 90 mil on this full auto here 90 mil is that too much to ask for it might be as long as newt doesn't die anytime soon i feel like it could it could definitely be there as long as we are able to get him out of it in time. Because he's going to get eaten in two turns. One turn. Hopefully it's not this head. If it's this head, the game is pretty much over. The run is pretty much over. And we're going to have to end on like 8.8 .8 or something. Or 88. Yeah, so now it's... I mean, I'll, I'll target him. Just to see what, what might happen. But more than likely, it's going to end around 88. not looking good both of my damage dealers are gone hence why cursed set is so important or just having somebody who does hex i might have to throw in mithrala somewhere here i think mithrala would be probably the best option i just have to figure out who i'd replace her with Maybe even Mithrala and Provoke. That way I could still have Uko for block buffs. Decrease attack, speed up. No, but then I wouldn't have anybody for decreased defense and weaken. So then that kind of... Therein lies the issue there. Unless I put Uko in a cursed set. But I have to farm cursed set. So yeah. Uh, 88, just like I called.
Yeah, there you go. Maybe I was just in love with the fat ass. Bought the pussy wide open like a tic-tac.